Hey guys, Jacob here. So as you know, we've been climbing for about three years. Now, any climber will get to a point where you're either gonna hit a plateau or you're just gonna be bored with the climbs at your gym. So today, to help out, I'm gonna be sharing some rock climbing training games. Plus, Josh is here. He's gonna help demonstrate some of these games as a beginner. Because a lot of these games are also fun because you can do them with any level of climbers. We're gonna have three different sections to this. The first is to improve strength and technique. First up, finger hangs. Whether you have rock rings, a hangboard, or even a solid door frame, Hang for five seconds, then off for five seconds. Do this for a minute. If you're consistently doing this, you'll see your finger strength improve a lot. Superman push-ups. This one's great to work out your core. Start in a push-up position with your hands close together. Extend it about 10 inches from your head. Now, as you do the push-up, make sure your elbows are going out. Chair-ups. This focuses on grip strength and forearms. Lay on your stomach and extend your hands above your head. Grab the front legs of the chair and lift it about four to five inches above the ground. If you can, hold it in the air for about a minute, if not, do three sets of 15 seconds. Weighted pull-ups. Climbing definitely involves a lot of pull strength. If you can't do pull-ups yet, start working on those with bands. Once you're solid at them, start doing them with weights. Typically, four sets of 10 is a good place to start. Moonboard. Most gyms have moonboards now, and they're 40 degree walls with specifically placed holds. What's really cool about them is that everybody all across the world is working on the same type of problems with these. And you can create your own. Next section, endurance. First one is the pyramid. This one can be done in one long session or through multiple sessions. The idea is, is that you start with what your project is. So for example, if it's a V4, that's the top of the pyramid. Now you work yourselves backwards until you get to a base of eight problems. So if my project is a V4, the bottom layer will be eight V1s, then four V2s, then two V3s, then your project. The whole point is you're trying to be able to climb all of them. Step by step. With this one, pick a problem that's one or two levels below what you normally do. You do the first move, then you climb back to the beginning. Then you go to the next move, then you climb back down to the beginning. Then you go to the third move, then you climb back down to the beginning until you get to the finishing hold. Circuit or laps. Pick five to 10 climbs that you know you can do. Then do them all without taking a break. Once you finish, take a 10, 15 minute break, then repeat. Four by fours. Pick four problems that you know you can do, usually two levels below what you're working on. Then climb each one four times with a minute break in between. Traverse. Most gyms have some traverse problems or a wall where you can easily traverse side to side. If the walls are shorter, work on going all the way to the end and then back as well. All right, lastly, we got five really fun games. First. Pointer. You'll need a partner for this one and it's best if they know your climbing ability. One person's on the wall while the other person tells them what the next move is gonna be. If you have a laser pointer, that's always helpful. Otherwise, you can just point and describe what it is. And you see how long you can stay on the wall. Add-on game. Start with a sequence of three to five moves. Then take turns going and each person adds an additional move on. Keep doing this until you're completely exhausted. Or you can make it elimination so that if somebody can't do one of the sequences, they're out. One arm training. Find an easier climb and try to do the climb without one arm or without one leg. You're really gonna have to focus on positioning and your dead point ability. If you're a better climber and you're climbing with some people who aren't as good, it's a good way to work on some of the same problems too. Time's up. This is great for a big group. Pick a set amount of time. Usually 10 seconds is a good place to start. Then you take turns and see how many holds you can get to in that time. Once everyone is gone, the person at the bottom is out. Then you move on to the next problem. Eliminator. Pick a route or a problem that has a lot of holds and moves. You take turns going, but after your turn, you pick one of the holds to eliminate. You keep going until there's only one man standing. That's it guys, he's exhausted. Hope these were fun. Special thanks to Brooklyn Boulders. Be sure to come check out this gym if you're in New York. If you want written instructions of these games, check out the blog post link below. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys later.